Hey guys, it's Artie Simmer and welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with another playhouse build and today I am building a reading nook for kids. I asked on my Twitter um, for some suggestions for a playhouse build you guys would like to see and I got these two comments uh, basically saying that they would like to see a reading nook for kids with toys, books, you know, place to spend time reading and stuff because they would have liked it as a child and Honestly, I would have liked that too because I loved reading whenever I was younger. I don't really have a lot of time to read as much anymore, which kind of sucks. But, uh, yeah, I loved reading. I, I still love reading. But, uh, yeah, when I was little, I, ha I had a pretty good sized closet. So I turned my closet into like a little reading area. Although that didn't last very long because I'm also afraid of closets. I, I don't know why. <laughs> I've watched too many scary movies and they creep me out. So, um, I ended up having my stepdad take my door off of my closet, which just made it worse. But anyway, <laughs> back to this. Um, I actually really like this, the way this playhouse turned out. It's probably one of my favorite playhouses that I've built, um, ever. Not just on my channel, but ever. And I know I've probably said that about at least one other playhouse before, but this one is honestly my favorite. Um, I did use a few debug items, which I haven't really messed around with too much in the past. And um, I was actually looking in the de debug for some of the book decorations that you use for like a retail store or something. And I didn't really find very many of those, at least not the ones I was looking for. Um, I was probably looking in the wrong place or something. But I did end up finding a few other little decorative items that I thought would look cute in this build. And I did test the build before... I uploaded it and everything is accessible. There's two bookshelves in here and there's some toys and stuff. I didn't actually mess around with the toys mainly because they're meant to be more decorative aesthetic purposes than actually usable. And I placed a few, um, well, a couple of boxes from City Living, the little snow globe boxes, just because I think they look pretty cool. And I don't know, whenever I was younger, I had a lot of boxes with a bunch of junk in them just everywhere around my room. I still have boxes with junk in them. And I don't know, just I, I, it felt like, you know, maybe they didn't have anywhere to put their old toys or something, or they were um, packing them up to donate, maybe. I don't know. But I don't know, I decided it looked pretty cool. So I decided to include some, and they actually look really awesome. Um, I do like the landscaping, it's not my favorite. The, the exterior of the build, I don't know, I just feel like it doesn't exactly match up to the interior, if that makes any sense. I, I don't know. I, I like the exterior, it's just, mm, I, I don't know. I feel like I could have done more with it, but I don't know, I guess I was more inspired by the interior than I was the exterior. I do like the exterior, it looks pretty cool. I just couldn't find the right colors that I wanted to use for the exterior walls and I couldn't find the right um, wallpapers or anything. So I guess that's kind of the reason I didn't like it because it didn't really um, end up being exactly what I thought it was. And then now I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do for the wallpaper because I had an idea in my head before I started building, before I went to the game. I looked on Pinterest for some ideas and stuff and I looked on Google for some book nook ideas and design inspiration and I found one where it had like I thought it had paneling and then this other kind of paneling, like the more traditional kind of paneling, I guess. And then um, I realized it wasn't paneling that I was looking for, it was brick. And that's what I decided before I started building. So I changed it to brick, but then I liked the brick with the other paneling. So I, that's what I decided to use. And I guess it, it the walls, interior, interior, the interior walls. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but they kind of remind me of like industrial sort of. So I had to kind of break that up a little bit and make it not so industrial because it is a kid's playhouse. So I didn't want it to be too adult looking. So I made like a little jungle area in this little corner over here. I do change that bookshelf just because I didn't like the way it looked in the end. And um, yeah, I just had a bunch of um, interior design images that I found that I kind of mashed together to create this room and then um, I just s stuck a few other things in that I found in the debug menu just because they looked really cool and I've never used them before. Um, I think I might have used um, debug objects maybe once but I don't know if that build was ever on my channel um, but I really like using them. They just add a lot more clutter items and stuff 
so I guess it's a really good option if you don't use custom content. And over here I am just building like a little reading area, I guess. There's like two little reading areas, um, and in both of them there's a bookshelf and a couch. A chair, not a couch. And um, at first I put two little chairs here in this little area, but then I decided to change them out and just put one chair and then another bookshelf because, you know, it's meant to be like a little um, reading playhouse type thing. So I decided there probably should be more than one bookshelf because I know I would have had multiple bookshelves and yeah, if, if I'm sure you know if you read a lot, you need a lot of bookshelves, more than one at least. And over here I just placed a bunch of little toys, I just stuffed them in everywhere. I don't know if any of them are actually accessible, but uh, yeah, I figured your sims would probably be in here reading more than playing with toys anyway, you know, that's probably what their bedroom's for, right? But I did only place a couple of toys around, and uh, I did place a dollhouse. I forgot about the dollhouse. <laughs> I wasn't really sure what to do with that area, and I placed a dollhouse. And then to decorate the walls, I just placed a bunch of pit. What am I trying to say? Posters. Jeez, I don't know what just happened to my brain. But uh, yeah, I just placed a bunch of posters around because that's usually what I do for kids' rooms and teen rooms, and they look pretty cool. And then over here on this. Wall. This is my favorite area. Um, just this whole little wall over here. Just the um, little n nook area, and then over next to the door where those boxes are, I do um, change that up a little bit. I, I'd like this little plant ladder thing, and it looks really cute. And I just really love this room. It makes me so happy to look at. And uh, yeah, for the postcards, um, because I. I wanted to add some postcards because whenever I was younger, I was like in middle school, I was maybe 11 or 12, I, I like collected postcards. I don't know why, I just really liked postcards and I just collected them and business cards. I, I have no idea why, I never used them, I never did anything with them, I just liked to collect things. So I collected postcards, bottle caps, and business cards, which was probably the most random things you could find. And then, um, whenever I was looking for the books, I actually found this open book and it kind of looked like a diary. I don't know if it's meant to be a diary or what, but I just thought it looked really cute. So I decided to stick it in the floor, like, you know, your kid sims are just gonna lay out and draw in their little sketchbook or they're writing their notebook, you know, that sort of thing. And I just thought it looked really cool. Cu I just said cool. But I also put a little, um, what is it called? A, a little piece of mail. In the floor next to it just like you know they have a bunch of postcards maybe they're writing a pen pal or something and then the pizza box may actually spoil so uh that that that'll probably be an issue later on so it's, it's probably not a permanent solution but uh yeah i thought it looked pretty cool so i stuck it in and then uh yeah i found these little puppet things i guess they're like um little things that came with the little puppet stand i'm guessing obviously I don't know what else they would have came with, but I thought they looked really cute, so I decided to stick them in as well. And then over here I'm just decorating the little shelf. I don't know why, but I've really liked decorating shelves recently. I have no idea why. I've never really been into decorating shelves all that much. But, I don't know, I've just been using the Move Objects Cheat a lot more lately, and um, the size up and size down options is really great for shelves, especially um, there's like big chest items and stuff you can use and I like to size them down and make them look like they're like just these little Boxes and stuff that you have on shelves. You could put little knickknacks and trinkets in. I don't know I just thought they were really cute So I decided to use those a lot and then I found that little vine and I added it to the little jungle area And it made it even more jungly because that was kind of the idea I was going with in the first place And I just couldn't find anything that went with my aesthetic in my head, but then I found it and it made me so happy and yay. So now I'm just going in and adding curtains and a few more decorative items. And yeah, I changed that out. But the screenshots are coming up soon. This build is on my gallery if you guys would like to download it. Um, I say this in all my playhouse builds probably. But in order to actually use this, you have to place the playhouse before you build your house. Because it is uploaded as a lot and not a room. Uh, which is unfortunate. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, or subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what types of playhouses you would like to see me build in the future. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!